Greetings, royal family, and welcome to the Torah, the law. Now, here is where you can listen to the Torah readings for every week of our solar year. Our solar calendar is very different from the lunar or Gregorian calendar. You see, the solar calendar begins in the month of Abib, which comes in at spring. Spring, the time when things are new and fresh. And doesn't that make a lot of sense? Beginning the new year when things are new and fresh, as opposed to a new year being in the winter? It makes perfect sense. And Royal Family, you can get your solar calendar by visiting us at www.yahweh144000.com. There you can get your current solar calendar with the scheduled Torah readings for every week and the daily scriptural readings for every day of our solar year, 365 days from sundown to sundown. Because Royal Family, our day does begin at sundown, as recorded in the King James Version of the Bible in Genesis. Now, Royal Family, let's take a look at the scheduled Torah readings for this week. This week, our Torah readings will come from the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 21, 22, 23, and 24. Numbers chapter 21. Verse 1. And when King Arad, the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south, heard tell that Israel came by the way of the spies, then he fought against Israel and took some of them prisoners. And Israel vowed a vow unto the Lord Jehovah, and said, If thou wilt indeed deliver this people into my hand, then I will utterly destroy their cities. And the Lord Jehovah hearkened to the voice of Israel, and delivered up the Canaanites. And they utterly destroyed them and their cities, and he called the name of the place Horma. And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. Verse 5. And the people spake against God, Yudhewave, and against Moses. Wherefore have ye brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water, and our soul loatheth this light bread. And the Lord Yudhewave sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord Yudhewav and against thee. Pray unto the Lord Yudhewav that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord Yudhewav said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass, that every one that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass, and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass, that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. 
verse 10. And the children of Israel set forward and pitched in Oboth. And they journeyed from Oboth and pitched at Ajabarim in the wilderness which is before Moab toward the sun rising. From thence they removed and pitched in the valley of the red. From thence they removed and pitched on the other side of Hernan, which is in the wilderness that cometh out of the coasts of the Amorites. For Arnon is the border of Moab between Moab and the Amorites. Wherefore it is said in the book of the wars of the Lord Yudhiwape, what he did in the Red Sea and in the brooks of Arnon. Verse 15. And at the stream of the brooks that goeth down to the dwelling of Ar, and lieth upon the border of Moab. And from thence they went to Beer. That is the well whereof the Lord Yudhiwape spake unto Moses, Gather the people together, and I will give them water. Then Israel sang this song, Spring up, O well, sing ye unto it. The princes dig the well, the nobles of the people digged it, by the direction of the lawgiver, with their staffs. And from the wilderness they went to Matana, and from Matana to Nahaliel, and from Nahaliel to Bamath, and from Bamath in the valley that is in the country of Moab to the top of Pisgah, which looketh toward Jeshimon. Verse 21. And Israel sent messengers unto Sion, king of the Amorites, saying, Let me pass through thy land. We will not turn into the fields or in the vineyards. We will not drink the waters of the well, but we will go along the king's highway until we be past thy borders. And Sion would not suffer Israel to pass through his border, but Sion gathered all his people together and went out against Israel in the wilderness. And he came to Jahaz and fought against Israel. And Israel smote him with the edge of the sword and possessed his land from Arnon unto Jabbok, even unto the children of Ammon. For the border of the children of Ammon was strong. Verse 25. And Israel took all these cities, and Israel dwelt in all the cities of the Amorites in Heshbon and in all the villages thereof. For Heshbon was the city of Sion, the king of the Amorites, who had fought against the former king of Moab and taken all his land out of his hand, even unto Arnon. Wherefore, they that speak in Proverbs say, Come into Heshbon, let the city of Sion be built and prepared. For there is a fire going out of Heshbon, a flame from the city of Sion. It hath consumed Ar of Moab and the lords of the high places of Arnon. Woe to thee, Moab, thou art undone. O people of Kamash, he hath given his sons that escaped and his daughters into captivity unto Sion, king of the Amorites. Verse 30, we have shot at them. Heshbon is perished even unto Zabon, and we have laid them waste even unto Nopha, which reacheth unto Mediba. Thus Israel dwelt in the land of the Amorites. And Moses sent to spy out Jazer, and they took the villages thereof, and drove out the Amorites that were there. And they turned, 
and went up by the way of Bashan. And Og, the king of Bashan, went out against them, he and all his people, to the battle of Edrei. Verse 34. And the Lord Yudhiwabe said unto Moses, Fear him not, for I have delivered him into thy hand, and all his people, and his land. And thou shalt do to him as thou didst unto Sion, king of the Amorites, which dwelt at Heshbon. Verse 35. So they smote him and his sons and all his people, until there was none left him alive, and they possessed his land. Numbers chapter 22. Verse 1. And the children of Israel set forward and pitched in the plains of Moab on this side Jordan by Jericho. And Balak, the son of Zippor, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was sore afraid of the people because they were many. And Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall this company lick up all that are round about us, as the ox licketh up the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Zippor, was king of the Moabites at that time. Verse 5. He sent messengers, therefore, unto Balaam, the son of Beor, to Pethor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people, for they are too mighty for me. Peradventure I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I watch that he whom thou blessed, is blessed, and he whom thou curseth is cursed. And the elders of Moab and the elders of Midian departed with the rewards of divination in their hand. And they came unto Balaam and spake unto him the words of Balak. And he said unto them, Lodge here this night. And I will bring you word again, as the Lord Yehwafe shall speak unto me. And the princes of Moab abode with Balaam. And God Yehwafe came unto Balaam and said, What men are these with thee? And Balaam said unto God Yehwafe, Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, has sent unto me, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt which covereth the face of the earth. Come now, curse me them. Peradventure, I shall be able to overcome them and drive them out. Verse 12. And God, Yehwabe, said unto Balaam, Thou shalt not go with them. Thou shalt not curse the people, for they are blessed. And Balaam rose up in the morning and said unto the princes of Balak, Get you into your land, for the Lord Yehwafe refuseth to give me leave to go with you. And the princes of Moab rose up and went unto Balak and said, Balaam refuseth to come with us. And Balak sent yet again princes more and more honorable than they. And they came to Balaam and said to him, Thus saith Balak, 
the son of Zippor. Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me. Verse 17, For I will promote thee unto very great honor, and I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord my God, you say, Wape, to do less or more. Now, therefore, I pray you, tarry ye also here this night, that I may know what the Lord Jehovah will say unto me more. Verse 20 And God Jehovah came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men come to call thee, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that shalt thou do. And Balaam rose up in the morning and saddled his ass and went with the princes of Moab. And God, Yudhewape's anger was kindled because he went and the angel of the Lord Yudhewape stood in the way for an adversary against him. Now he was riding upon his ass and his two servants were with him. And the as saw the angel of the Lord Yehwape standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand, and the ass turned aside out of the way, and went into the field, and Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way. But the angel of the Lord stood in the path of the vineyards, a wall being on this side and a wall on that side. And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord Yehwape, she thrust herself onto the wall and crushed Balaam's foot against the wall. And he smote her again. And the angel of the Lord Yehwape went further and stood in a narrow place where it was no way to turn either to the right hand or to the left. Verse 27, And when the ass saw the angel of the Lord, Yehwabe, she fell down under Balaam, and Balaam's anger was kindled, and he smote the ass with a staff. And the Lord, Yehwabe, opened the mouth of the ass, and she said unto Balaam, what have I done unto thee that thou hast smitten me these three times? And Balaam said unto the ass, Because thou hast mocked me, I would there were a sword in mine hand, for now would I kill thee. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am not I thine ass? upon which thou hast ridden ever since I was thine unto this day? Was I ever wont to do so unto thee? And he said, Nay. Then the Lord Yehwabe opened the eyes of Balaam, and he saw the angel of the Lord Yehwabe standing in the way, and his sword drawn in his hand. And he bowed down his head and fell flat on his face. Verse 32. And the angel of the Lord Yehwabe said unto him, Wherefore hast thou smitten thine ass these three times? Behold, I went out to withstand thee, because thy way is perverse before me. And the ass saw me, and turned from me these three times, unless she had turned from me, surely now also I had slain thee, and saved her alive. 
And Balaam said unto the angel of the Lord, Yehoshaphe, I have sinned, for I knew not that thou stoodest in the way against me. Now therefore, if it displeased thee, I will get me back again. And the angel of the Lord, Yehoshaphe, said unto Balaam, Go with the men, but only the word that I shall speak unto thee, thou shalt speak. So Balaam went with the princes of Balak. Verse 36. And when Balak heard that Balaam was come, he went out to meet him unto a city of Moab, which is in the border of Arnon, which is in the utmost coast. And Balak said unto Balaam, Did I not earnestly send unto thee to call thee? Wherefore camest thou not unto me? Am I not able indeed to promote thee to honor? And Balaam said unto Balak, Lo, I am come unto thee. Have I now any power at all to say anything? The word that God, Yudhewabe, put it in my mouth, that shall I speak. And Balaam went with Balak, and they came unto Kirjath Huzzah. And Balak offered oxen and sheep and sent to Balaam and to the princes that were with him. Verse 41. And it came to pass on the morrow that Balak took Balaam and brought him up into the high places of Baal that thence he might see the uttermost part of the people. Numbers chapter 23 Verse 1 And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here, seven altars, and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken, and Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by the burnt offering, and I will go. Peradventure the Lord Yehoshaphat will come to me, and whatsoever he showeth me, I will tell thee. And he went to a high place. And God Yehoshaphat met Balaam, and he said unto him, I have prepared seven altars, and I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And the Lord Yehoshaphat put a word in Balaam's mouth, and said, Return unto Balak, and thus thou shalt speak. Verse 6 And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parable, and said, Balak, the king of Moab, hath brought me from Aram out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, defy Israel. How shall I curse whom God, Yehoshaphat, hath not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom the Lord, Yehoshaphat, hath not defied? For from the top Of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and Let my last end be like his. Verse 11. And Balak said unto Balaam, What hast thou 
done unto me. I took thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord Yehwafe hath put in my mouth? And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray thee, with me unto another place, from whence thou mayest see them. Thou shalt see but the utmost part of them, and shalt not see them all, and curse me them from thence. And he brought him into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. Verse 15. And he said unto Balak, Stand here by the burnt offering while I meet the Lord Yehovah yonder. And the Lord Yehovah met Balaam and put a word in his mouth and said, Go again unto Balak and say thus. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering and the princes of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What hath the Lord Yehovah spoken? And he took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear. Hearken unto me, thou son of Zippor. Verse 19. God, Yudhewafi, is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Hath he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless, and he hath blessed, and I cannot reverse it. Verse 21. He hath not beheld iniquity in Jacob, neither hath he seen perverseness in Israel. The Lord Yudhiwate, his God, is with him. And the shout of a king is among them. God, Yutewafe, brought them out of Egypt. He hath, as it were, the strength of a unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, What? Hath God Yudhe Wate wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion and lift up himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. Verse 25. And Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answered and said unto Balak, Told not I thee, saying, All that the Lord Yudhewafe speaketh, that I must do? And Balak said unto Balaam, Come, I pray thee, I will bring thee unto another place. Peradventure it will please God, Yudhewafe, that thou mayest curse me them from thence. And Balak brought Balaam unto the top of Peor, that looketh toward Jeshimon. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks and seven rams. Verse 30. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. Numbers chapter 24 Verse 1 And when Balaam saw that it pleased the Lord Yudhewate to bless Israel, he went not, as at other times, to seek for enchantments, but he set his face toward the wilderness. And Balaam 
lifted up his eyes and he saw Israel abiding in his tents according to their tribes. And the spirit of God Jehovah came upon him. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, has said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said, he hath said, which heard the words of God Yehwabe, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, how goodly are thy tents, O Jacob, and thy tabernacles, O Israel, as the valleys are, they spread forth as gardens by the river's side, as the trees of lime aloes, which the Lord Yehwafe hath planted, and as cedar trees beside the waters. Verse 7, He shall pour the water out of his buckets, and his seed shall be in many waters, and his king shall be higher than Agag, and his kingdom shall be exalted. God Yehwabe brought him forth out of Egypt. He hath as it were the strength of a unicorn. He shall eat up the nations, his enemies, and shall break their bones and pierce them through with his arrows. Verse 9, he couched, he lay down as a lion, and as a great lion, who shall stir him up? Blessed is he that blesseth thee, and cursed is he that curseth thee. Verse 10, And Balak's anger was kindled against Balaam, and he smote his hands together, and Balak said unto Balaam, I call thee to curse mine enemies, and behold, thou hast all together blessed them these three times. Therefore, now flee thou to thy place. I thought to promote thee unto great honor, but lo, the Lord Yehwabe hath kept thee back from honor. And Balaam said unto Balak, Spake I not also to thy messengers, which thou sentest unto me, saying, If Balak would give me his house full of silver and gold, I cannot go beyond the commandment of the Lord Yehwabe to do either good or bad of mine own mind. But what the Lord Yehwabe saith, that will I speak. Verse 14. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam the son of Beor hath said, and the man whose eyes are open hath said, he hath said, which heard the words of God Yehwabe, and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. Verse 17, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob and a scepter shall rise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab and destroy all the children of sheep. And Edom shall be a possession. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. And Israel shall do valiantly. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion, and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. Verse 20. 
And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And he looked on the Kenites and took up his parable and said, Strong is thy dwelling place, and thou puttest thy nest in a rock. Nevertheless, the Kenite shall be wasted until Asher shall carry thee away captive. And he took up his parable and said, Alas, who shall live when God Yudhe doeth this? And the ships shall come from the coast of Ketem and shall afflict Asher and shall afflict Eber and he also shall perish forever. Verse 25 And Balaam rose up and went and returned to his place and Balak also went his way. Royal family, thank you for joining in for the Torah readings. The Torah is the law. Reading the Torah is a blessing. Reading the Torah is a key to riches and a key to success. Please remember to visit our website at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, Royal Family, please visit the University of Yahweh at www.universityofyahweh.org. Here is where you can sign up for classes designed for the Godhead family as we prepare for righteous rulership. And Royal Family, if you are listening to this podcast on Anchor or Spotify, please remember to support our channel. You can show your love by just pressing that support button and making a small donation to support this channel. Remember to come back and visit this channel weekly as we continue to share the keys of riches, prosperity, and wealth through the teachings and the laws of yud Hey wav Hey. Royal family, have a glorious day in yud Hey wav Hey. I love you. Shalom.